Hi guys! Hi there! Welcome back to Homesteading with Taryn. Welcome back to my beautiful little homestead in sunny South Africa. I have had something quite amazing happen in the garden. Amazing and confusing at the same time. So maybe, maybe one of my viewers would be able to help me a little more with uh, uh, some clarity on the situation. As I've said before in uh, one of my previous videos, um, we've got 22 avo trees. Four of them are non-grafted, which means that they were grown from pip. We grew them ourselves from an avo that we bought from the shop or the supermarket. Now, three of them, basically four of them, are four years old. The other are actually much younger. What happened was we bought them in stages as our money allowed. Uh, to be honest, uh, it was actually one of my birthday presents. I um, decided that I wanted to go to a nursery and I wanted to buy some, some avo trees to celebrate my birthday. As I felt it would return something to me every single year. So I felt it was really the best present that I could ask for. And so we literally did that. We went to the nursery and we bought our avo trees. I can't remember how many we bought. I remember we bought them in three separate stages. Please excuse my roosters for screaming in the background. They do that quite often. Um, so we planted them in uh, stages of three. So the rest of my avo trees, apart from the four, are much younger. Now, the interesting thing is this. We've come to that time of the year. Here in South Africa now, it's coming into springtime. So most of your avos have already, uh, already fruited and um, they're starting up now with their flowers. Let me show you. So here you can see their beautiful flowers starting up. Okay. So the avo trees getting flowers are absolutely amazing. Last year I remember seeing the first avo start up in October. So we're not too far off from the trees bearing some avos. But here is the... Um, here, here, the grafted trees are supposed to bear fruit. We fully, fully understand that. The three trees this year that bear... That... The three trees this year that held fruit were grafted. Now, yeah. so let me show you what's happening and the part that I'm a little bit unsure of. So this part here and these leaves over here and these leaves over here. All right. These are parts of the grafted. These are parts of the grafted tree. Okay one yeah it's a sprig yeah there are four four branches that are part of the grafted tree so i fully understand them having flowers and getting ready to bear fruit but this stem over here that goes right up we were advised to cut that off we were advised to we were advised to cut it off so that the energy of the tree whilst growing continued into the grafted part of the tree and not into this part but I must admit I felt a little strange about doing that so we decided not to do it so we sort of tried to leave the tree to do its natural thing even though we know that this tree already is a little confused and it already thinks it's much older than what it is okay so here's my 
here's my my con here's 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 what I'm wondering. The flowers are on the grafted part, the part that thinks it's old. But there's also flowers on the young part that shouldn't be having flowers because it doesn't think it's old. So here is my question. Because we didn't cut off this part that wasn't grafted, does this whole tree now think that it's old? Because if that's the case, that means that instead of us having only one tiny, weak little branch here at the bottom, which isn't even half a meter high, we have this very nice strong branch whereby this tree, this whole tree might bear others. I cannot wait to see, I honestly cannot wait to see what is going to happen. I know last year the tree itself dropped some of the avos and some of the flowers fell off because obviously the tree is really clever and it can feel when the weight gets too much for the branch so it will drop it off. So I cannot wait to see what happens because it's really just confusing. We were advised to cut it off but we didn't. But there's something else that's even more strange. Let me show you. So we're just going to take a walk through to the two trees that are not grafted. These two trees um, happen to be in the, the home base camp and um, the other 20 trees are in a separate, separate camp. So this is what I want to show you. As you can see, they are starting to flower. These are, look at this. These are trees grown from a pip. So this tree is not seven years old. It is not three years old. Um, they, these, all the, all the trees that we've grown from Pip, they, they seem to grow much, much faster. I think that this tree at this point is about three meters tall. So is that one. Um, so they really are, they grow much stronger than the grafted ones and they grow much faster. But here's my second question. How is it possible that these trees are starting to flower when all the information that we've ever gathered on avo trees tells us that they will not they'll not bear fruit up until five years at least could be seven so i'm really so confused but it's it's a good confused i i am we're absolutely astounded actually we're not confused we're astounded we love the fact that there are flowers on these trees and we cannot wait we just cannot wait to see what the outcome what the outcome will be and I cannot wait to share it with you guys as well because it is amazing and confusing and uh, yeah sometimes we just have to let we just have to wait for nature to let it answer our questions so if anybody can help me with the answer to these questions that I have, um, I, I would be so grateful. It's just a little confusing. But next year is going to be amazing. Um, I do believe that we have at least uh, 16, I think there are 15, I think there are 15 trees. I think that are busy flowering and um, if we got 60 avos, 60 avos from three trees and we've got 15 trees that are now going to start bearing avos only after four years so we could say okay on the fifth year. Um, imagine how many avos we will have. It's absolutely amazing. I cannot wait, 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 wait to see 
but I think we'll have to wait till December next year. Anyway, thank you so much to all my viewers for watching. If you haven't pressed the, 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 the subscribe button, please, please click the button. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all my new subscribers. I really, really appreciate it. I can't always see who you are. I would thank you in person, but the number just increases. The name doesn't show. So I'm just going to say thank you so much to everybody for clicking the subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day. And thank you so much for joining me. And thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Bye, guys.